As capricious as its fey namesake, the history of Oberon is tainted by corporate corruption, false promises, and ruined lives. This seven-planet system orbits a stellar remnant, which offers scant heat to its companion worlds and even less light. From its discovery in 2356, and throughout its almost 600 years of habitation, Oberon has tempted dreamers to its dark skies. Like the Californian gold rush of the 1800s, modern-day prospectors flocked to Gaw, the first planet in the system, hunting for a specific galotrope of carbon, more commonly known as diamonds. Gone promises wealth beyond measure, but thus far all any have reaped is discontent. This system's unclaimed status has made it a playground for corporate exploitation, which leads us to Uriel, the second planet of the system. Under its glacial surface, settlers have carved out a meager existence. The original inhabitants were tempted to Oberon by the Titania Terraforming Corporation with the tagline, The world of your dreams is yours for the making. And thousands left Sol, buying up land on the surface of Oberon too. But because of the dead star at the heart of the system, conventional forms of terraforming were impossible, though the company recklessly employed an untested and highly experimental method. For decades, their scientists employed techniques to heat the planet's core in the hope of warming its surface. The experiment ultimately failed, Titania terraforming was liquidated, and the settlers, they were stranded on a half-terraformed world. But, defying all odds, the men and women of Oberon II survived, and over generations built a unique subterranean culture. Recently, the resilience of these pioneers was tested yet again. In the aftermath of Vega, the Van Duel assaulted Oberon, claiming thousands of lives in their bloody campaign against humanity. The UEES retribution came to the aid of the besieged system under the command of the storied Admiral Bishop and managed to rout the Vandal forces. Oberon is now under the protection of the UEE with a large military presence holding the line as it becomes yet another frontline system in this bloody conflict. The remaining planets of Oberon offer scant resources for the military fleet, with Oberon 3, 4, and 5 being barren rocky proto-planets of little strategic use, and the remaining two, both gas giants, neither of which hold any valuable resources. The fate of this star-crossed system looks bleak, and if it were not for the bravery of the men and women of the Retribution, this article could well have been an obituary for the entire Oberon system and its unfortunate denizens. But one thing I know, if anyone can weather this storm, it is the seasoned survivors of Uriel. They say their world was named Uriel, because in the darkness of their tunnels, only God's light could reach them. Thank you so much for listening. I hope you enjoyed my RP summary of the Oberon system. And if you did, please show some love to Ada, Hayne, Molinai, Sundrake, the Jolly Joe Star, Dark Griever, and all my fantastic patrons, without whom I would be unable to dedicate the time and resources I do to all my channels. I can never thank them enough. Now I hope you will join me again for more Star Citizen lore, but until then, as always, thanks for watching.